Hello, and welcome to Tea Time with Torla, the show where I'm planning on grabbing a pot of tea, sitting down and talking about games that I like. Today's game is Do. So why don't we sit down, get a hot cup of whatever you want, this lovely see-through. I think I'll let it steep just a little too long. Looks darker on the camera than it actually is. Okay. Okay. So let's sit down, grab a drink, relax, and talk about Doom. So where to begin? Uh, it was like 1994 or 1993. I remember walking through the mall and there was this old computer store. Well, it's not there anymore. It used to be there. Called Compu Center, and Compu Center. Uh, had these lovely beige boxes out and you know trying to get people to come in and look at the things or buy new hardware they'd show off the latest and greatest in PC gaming and it just so happens that on this particular day for whatever reason the shareware version of Doom was running <sighs> this game blew my mind back in the day I'd never seen anything like it before I was a Genesis kid so Sonic the Hedgehog and fast games were kind of my jam. The things that I saw all the time. But a game like Doom? No. It was mind blowing. It was funny because it wasn't too long after I got to actually play it. But being as cool and groundbreaking and as awesome as it was, Everyone in the house wanted to play it. And when I mean everyone, I mean pretty much everyone. My older brother. And my mother used to play it. With my youngest brother on her lap. <laughs> it, it happened. It was whatever. It was fun. Mom liked to play it. Um, I remember uh, probably not too long after uh, my uh, dad or grandfather had just retired their old coax networking system and my older brother had annexed it and brought it home <laughs> that was my first uh, well our first excursion into the days of multiplayer doom between my youngest brother myself and my older brother this is probably a couple of years after probably like 1990 5 or 96, because my brother would have been 2 or 3? 2 when Doom came out originally in the shareware version. My mom's super cool, by the way. Um, she still watches games to this day. Um, likes anime. Very much enjoys watching games and doing whatever she can. Uh... She kind of got into mobile gaming for a bit with some of the, like, Gardenscape and things like that, but they didn't really catch her fancy, and she kind of watches people Let's Play games now. So that's what makes her happy. And she'll sometimes pick out a game, or I'll pick out a game, just for her. Something that she'd want to watch, or something she'd want to play, or want to see the story for. Um, she is quite the backseat gamer when it comes to Games like Overwatch. <sighs> to my brother, anyway. He plays on the TV. Um, but she definitely is, and always will be, the cool, one of the coolest mothers I know. Because most mothers in the 90s were <laughs> pretty insane if you've never heard stories. Um, but th that's okay. So, I remember when Doom 2 came out, because Doom 2 was the first time you could actually buy a Doom game on the shelf out at the computer store. I believe it was EB Games that we bought it from. It could have been Copy Center. They both kind of carried the same things or similar things. They were competing companies in the mall. But uh, I also remember picking up a used copy of Quake that game 
but that's for tea time for another time. Um, through the years, though, as we got more consoles and other things, uh, we had the 32X port of Doom. I don't remember when that came out, 1995 or 96? Maybe earlier than that. And uh, when the Game Boy Advance came out and there was a port for that, Mother picked it up because knew everyone would want to play it. I also remember being out at uh, uh, Walmart, I think it was. We went out for whatever, and I went through the game aisle, and there was Doom 2016. Doom 2016 at the Walmart. Just look at that thing. I think it's a controller cover. And of course, Doom isn't in here. Yeah, you know, the controller cover. And this was my first exposure to Doom 2016. Um, this would be late, maybe summer. It was heavily discounted. And, uh, in 2017, um, I decided I wanted to do more video creation. And at the time, I was playing a lot of Splatoon. And, uh, I had met up with a bunch of people online that wanted, uh, someone to record games and whatnot. Unfortunately, those plans fell through, but I still ended up with a pretty powerful computer in 2017, and I picked up a copy of Doom on Steam. Heavily discounted. Heavily, I, th I think between the two, I spent a uh, normal retail price for a new game. Maybe a little less than that. But before all that happened, Doom 3, the black sheep of the of the series I suppose you could call it as people always refer to it I don't think it's that bad it's just not the best doom game oh, good stuff. so I built a PC just to play doom 3 because at the time I didn't have an Xbox we had a GameCube but 2017 was the year I bought my switch which is right in my desk right in front of me with Pokemon in it right now. <clears throat> in the year I got heavily back into PC gaming and moved away from console gaming a bit. There were still always fun or different games that would come out on console that I'd play and ones I like. Um, but after playing Doom 2016 on the controller, I kind of realized how much I missed the keyboard and mouse and the precision and all the good that comes from it. I don't think that people that play shooters on controllers or lesser people or something ridiculous like that. I think it's a perfectly legitimate way to play a game and I don't think everyone needs to spend a ridiculous amount of money on a computer or... Well, you can play some of these games pretty cheap other ones not so much <clears throat> but I can totally understand the want to play on something that you have and not build something new for it I definitely feel that back to PC was a good turn a big turning point for me and gaming um, it's also opened me up to the Microsoft brand of games, but again, that's not what this video is about. This video is about Doom, and I've got some B-roll from every Doom game that I have access to. I think there's a little Doom 2 in there. There is OG Doom, the DOS version, the that's the GOG version, uh, the GZ Doom version, Doom 2016, and Doom 3. I'll be putting it throughout the video and labeling them as such. So, I understand that games, different games, are mean more to different people. Like, I have a pile of figures behind me, and you're probably looking at them trying to figure out which ones are which, and from which games. Uh, and these, oops, sorry, wrong hand. These lovely uh, handmade slimes here from my friend in Japan, who was helping me on a later episode already. This video is more of like a starting point, experimental sort of thing, where I'm gonna try 
some different things. Uh, the first couple videos might be a little rough. This one's going to be pretty rough since I'm recording on a webcam. Um, the camera I used this Canon. It's right behind me. You can see it in the shot there. My Canon uh, DSLR doesn't like to sit nice and doesn't work well with my uh, capture card. It just looks wrong and awful and it's very awkward to try and sync up the audio with this desktop microphone here, which is what I'm going to be using for all my recording. Please forgive me if it's not perfect. I will replace and upgrade equipment as I go. Well, my team cup is almost empty. Getting really close there. Which means it's time for this episode to end. I want to thank everyone for watching and for putting up with this format and my lackluster setup for this. Uh, if you want, you can write down in the comments a game that stuck with you throughout the years or your family loves. So if you like this concept, you hit the like button. Consider subscribing, that's fine. But regardless, I want to thank you again so much for watching and sayonara.